14 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few forwards I looked at this week on the wire. The first guy, Jonathan Kuminga of the Golden State Warriors. So right here, Kuminga, he's come out of nowhere this season here for this Golden State Warrior team in his rookie year. On the season, 6.4 points a game, 2.1 rebounds, 48% from the field. But the last few weeks here, he's playing great basketball, 13 points a game, 4.5 rebounds, and 47% from the field. So right here, this Warrior team, they built a pretty good team in the offseason with underrated drafted guys. And guys, they've signed in free agency, and this is why they're one of the best teams in the Western Conference. Under the radar guys contributing, it's not just Steph Curry. Clay Thompson back in the mix as well, and he's looked decent so far in his return. And this team definitely can make a championship run once again. So the last few games here for Kaminga, January 13th at the Bucks, 15 points, 7 rebounds. A steal at 331% from the field. January 14th at the Bulls, 25 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, 3 blocks, 2 threes, 83% from the field. And January 16th at the Timberwolves, 19 points, 7 rebounds, an assist at 350% from the field. So he's scoring the basketball well. He's Kuminga. He's a pretty decent rebounder over the last 2 out of 3 games. And that's when he's going to give you some scoring, some rebounding, one or two threes a game. And the only thing with him is we'll see if the playing time stays consistent. About 20 plus minutes a game as an energy guy and a guy who could score off the bench. But right now he's one of the hotter pickups in fantasy basketball. But hey, he's still available in 83% of fantasy leagues. The next forward I look to get this week's Kessler Edwards of the Brooklyn Nets. So the Nets here, we know Kevin Durant's out four to six weeks with the MCL injury. So Kessel Edwards, he's going to step in and probably be the starter at the small forward position for most games here for the Nets on the season in his rookie year. Eight points a game, 4.2 rebounds, 1.1 assists, 1.4 threes a game, and 45% from the field the last couple weeks here. Numbers haven't been all that great, but now he's going to get the expanded role like I mentioned. And over the last three games, he's played 30-plus minutes is Edwards. January 12th at the Bulls, nine points a rebound, an assist, three steals, a block at 350% from the field. January 13th versus the Thunder. Nine points, two boards, a block, 40% from the field. And then January 15th, where he really played expanded minutes, 37 minutes in that ball game. 16 points, six boards, two assists, a block, four threes, and 60% from the field. So right here with the injury, like I mentioned to Durant, I think it's going to be a group effort from this net team. We're going to see more scoring from Camp Thomas who I mentioned as an ad at the guard position in my other video, and even Aldridge, who should be back now, any day now as well here, getting the load with Edwards as well. So right here, he's in the lineup. He's playing decent basketball, and right now available in 95% of fantasy leagues. I definitely would give him an ad this week, but obviously Duran out multiple weeks. The next forward I look to add is Amir Coffey of the Los Angeles Clippers. So this season, we've seen a lot of guys emerge who are either rookies or second-year guys especially for fantasy basketball. So on the season here for Coffey, 6.6 points a game, 2.9 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 1.1 threes, and 44% from the field. But the last couple weeks here, he stepped his game up, Coffey, with more minutes, 12.6 points a game, 4.6 rebounds, 3.1 assists, 2.1 threes, and 50% from the field here. So we know Paul George is out with the elbow injury. And there's some reports coming out that Paul George, he might not be back at all this season. So obviously, that'll be more playing time for Coffey. Nicholas Batum, he's just been in and out of the line of protocols and injuries the last few weeks here. And Coffey's making the most of his opportunity, playing 30-plus minutes of the last few games for him. January 11th versus Denver, 18 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, a whopping 4 steals, 3 threes, 54% from the field. January 13th. At the Pelicans, he had a down game, but he still gave some bonus categories. 5.6 boards, 5 assists, a steal with 3, 28% from the field. And January 15th at the Spurs, 20 points, 5 rebounds, an assist, a steal, a block, 4 threes, and 53% from the field here. So Coffey, he's still available widely in fantasy leagues at 68%. And right now, I would go out there and definitely give him an ad. Like I mentioned, George ain't coming back anytime soon. He's outperformed Nicholas Batum and Kawhi Leonard. There's reports he might come back, but there's also reports that this Clipper team might be sellers at the deadline. So we'll see what happens. But right now, I just know Coffee's a good ad this week. The next ad's DeAndre Hunter of the Atlanta Hawks. A Hunter, he returned from injury a few games ago after he underwent knee surgery. 
and he's been back the last three games. So on the season here for Hunter, 11.6 points a game, 2.4 rebounds, 1.6 threes, and 45% from the field. So the last few games since he returned, January 12th versus the Heat, 15 points, a rebound, an assist, a steal, a block, three threes, 36% from the field. January 14th at the Heat, 20 points, two assists, three blocks, three threes, 70% from the field. And January 15th versus the Knicks, only eight points, three rebounds, two assists, a block of three, and 33% from the field. So Hunter, we know he's a good scorer. Last season, before he went out for the season with his injury, he had 15 points a game. And that's the problem with Hunter. He just can't stay healthy over the last few seasons. But he, when he does play, he's very productive and a good fantasy option. And right now, he's available, Is Hunter, in 46% of leagues and with Cam Reddish out of town getting traded to the Knicks that just opened up the minutes for him and so far he's playing 25-30 minutes a game since he returned so right now he's definitely a good ad in my opinion is Hunter he's going to give you the scoring he's going to shoot some threes and he's been a decent assist guy as well so I would give him an ad this week in the fifth and final forward I looked at this week Starius Baisley of the OKC Thunder so basically it's been an up and down season for the youngster this year but now he's starting to get things going I think and be a decent fantasy option on the season 9.3 points a game 6.3 boards 1.2 assist a 3 and 40 percent from the field so I know last season he averaged 13 and 7 and the numbers are definitely down this season here for Baisley but I think he could pick it up and get it going and over the last few weeks that's what he's been doing 11.7 points a game 5.7 rebounds and assist 50 percent from the field and a block as well so right here he's available in 80 percent of leagues but he's starting to play more playing time and being more productive is basically january 11th at the wizards 14 points nine boards and assist a block two three 71 percent from the field january 13th at the net 16 points five boards a block two threes 66% from the field. In January 15th versus the Cleveland Cavs, 17 points, 7 boards, 3 assists, a steal, a 3, 55% from the field. So he's scoring the basketball well. He's rebounding decently as well. And right now I would go out there and give him an ad because he's putting up numbers and he's giving all his categories. And his field goal is definitely bumped up as well over the last three games here is basically. So I would give him a shot this week. So that's a few forwards I look to add here for week 14 of the fantasy basketball season.